the benefits that we estimate are clearly uh, above any reasonable estimate of cost. The research question we're looking at is essentially what are the benefits in terms of per capita incomes and labor productivity from membership in the European Union. We look at about 17 countries in the 1973 enlargement, the 1980s enlargement, the 1994 enlargement, and the 2004 enlargements. And kind of the average country, if it had not joined the European Union, income per capita would be 12% lower today. You have the results both in terms of income per person, income per capita, and also in terms of labor productivity. It's a very difficult question, and uh, there's a lot of debate. As we know, we will not be able to observe ever a UK that had not joined the EU in 1973. It's an impossibility. Then we have to come up with a reasonable way of generating uh, this control group, generating this UK that did not become a member. Now, what the method does is essentially tries to find what are the optimal weights from a group of middle to high income countries. What the method tries to do is to minimize the distance between actual and synthetic before 1973. The set of weights that we find for the UK would be 85% uh, New Zealand and 15% Argentina. We find the benefits to be large and significant for every single country except Greece. But if you need one number that summarizes these benefits, that number is 12. Incomes per person uh, would be 12% lower on average for the average country in the first 10 years after accession had it not joined the European Union. The UK is about 24% since 1973. I mean, there are costs. The benefits that we estimate are clearly uh, above any reasonable estimate of costs. I mean, significantly above.